Now one of the things we know happens during the Pleistocene is we have periods of great glacial expansion, the ice ages in other words, separated by interglacial periods, warmer periods where those glaciers recede. Now the causes of the ice ages are largely astronomical, subtle variations in the Earth's orbit around the Sun as well as subtle variations in the tilt of the planet lead to periods in which there is less energy, less solar energy reaching the planet. During these periods it gets colder across the globe and you see expansion of glacial regions particularly in the northern hemisphere. Now these ice ages are important in our evolutionary past because obviously humans persisted throughout these ice ages. But they importantly changed the dynamics of human population and geographic range across the globe. Specifically, Ice ages would have led to the planets getting colder and drier. As more moisture got sucked up into these expanding glacial regions, there was less moisture available for the rest of the world. So peak glacial periods would have been for the most part cold and dry, especially in the northern hemisphere, especially across northern Eurasia. This could have caused time periods in which large parts of these continental regions would have been uninhabitable. For populations that existed across this zone, these kinds of periods may have established different geographic populations, time periods in which the amount of gene flow between these populations was reduced, increasing the ability of the genetic drift to shape different regional variations. Now extended out for a long enough period of time, and this could have created an opportunity for speciation, long-term reproductive isolation driving the formation of new species. It could have merely, however, established different geographic variants. We can also think about how Ice Age may have changed natural selection. Ice Age changing the environment would have obviously perhaps changed the adaptive landscape for different kinds of genetic variants. Certain variants that were more conducive for those cold dry periods may have been less conducive during the warmer, wetter interglacial periods. We can also think about this in the context of human behavioral evolution. Recall that unlike genetic evolution, behavioral evolution, the development of novel behavioral characteristics, cultural adaptation, can be direction oriented. So while the genetic variants that might have changed during Ice Age periods are random, the behavioral changes populations made to better accommodate these different variants, different environments, may have been very much direction oriented. So we can think about the Ice Ages as being important for shaping the basic structure of human demography, but also for potentially changing how natural selection acted to change populations, and actually change what populations do, how they fit into their environment, and how they relate to other populations across the globe.